Welcome to Leader Feeder, and today I want to talk about accountability and why is it that frontline leaders especially have trouble holding people accountable. Now first of all, accountability means, and we're going to simplify it as best we can, accountability means applying consequences for your actions, your behavior, or your results, right? So if you get good behaviors, good results, you should get a pat on the back or some praise or positive reinforcement. If the results aren't what they should be, or the pace of work isn't what they should be, or the quality isn't what it should be, or maybe the behaviors are offside, accountability means that the leader has to apply corrective consequences. That might just mean a coaching conversation between you and the person. But if you don't apply those consequences, the person feels no need to be accountable. And believe it or not, workers want to be held accountable. They want a culture of accountability. So when you as the leader look the other way, never apply feedback, you're basically turning away an opportunity to motivate your team. Now, a lot of times the frontline leader is worried about the worker reactions to the feedback. In other words, they think that the workers are going to hate them as the frontline leader and therefore they're not going to work as hard. But if you look at it, your top performers expect you to say something to your more marginal performers. It helps actually motivate them. Um, another uh, pitfall that I've seen leaders fall into is that they think they need exact information. So many leaders are saying, well, I can't track exactly how much output that person has done, so how am I gonna to talk to him about his performance? Well, by gosh, that's the reason why you walk around and observe things. You see when people's pace of work isn't what it should be, or somebody's taking a lot longer to do a job that you know can be done in less time. You have to trust what your observations say and trust that that information is really all you need. So if the person challenges you, you say, look, I observe work all day, every day, and I notice your pace of work is lower than what it should be. All right. Now, the third thing, of course, is to observe and provide feedback. The primary responsibility of most frontline leaders is to be walking the production facility, looking at the pace of work, the quality and safety and so on. So the primary job is to actually look for things. Yes, if there's actual numbers, obviously look to those, but look at generally what people are up to and provide them feedback. Now remember that most accountability, even though we think it means punishment, it's really just an opportunity to provide coaching because most people, when you tell them that your performance needs to speed up or your attention to detail needs to improve, generally most people will do that once it's brought to their attention. So remember, you're going to be taking more of a coaching approach than a disciplinary approach. Now, Keep in mind though that sometimes coaching can turn into a disciplinary action and in that case what's important is that you do keep your own journal or notes of some of the observations you're making and the conversations that you're having. That way HR will be able to back you up when you do escalate it to a disciplinary action. Now remember when you look the other way and you avoid holding people accountable and giving them feedback it sends exactly the wrong signal to people because people want to be held accountable. So this is your opportunity to raise the performance of your work group, improve on-time delivery and hitting your metrics and that makes you look good as a frontline leader but it also just helps the organization succeed and people want to win at their job so your job is to help them win through providing feedback based on your observations. Now one of the things that companies will do is they will bring us in to do on-site workshops or send people out to our public workshops, or sometimes just access some of the online resources that we have. So whether your needs are big or small, please reach out to us at frontlineleadership.com or reach out on Facebook at Frontline Leader.